out. Put up to the party on the field, go mummies after me. Niggas thinking that thing, that shit, but they all under me. We not gon' be friends if you don't got no loyalty. Don't wanna be my friend, you just tryna be like me. Tryna be like me, why you tryna be like me? Tryna be like me, why you tryna be like me? Hello, and welcome to Prime Sports with Masatsi. In this episode, we have a very, very special guest. We have a heavy hitter. We have Pizzo Jingles Musimani. He's going to be taking us through to life in Egypt as the coach of al and also he's telling us into great detail as to why he has start, decided to start a school sports program that aims to produce coaches and players that can help Wafana Wafana into the future. Coach, um, thank you very much for, for, for giving us an opportunity at uh, Prime Sports with Matlatsi. I've been told by uh, Aus Muira and uh, Aus Kelozo that your schedule is tight. Yeah, it's tight. So I mustn't, too busy. Wa- I mustn't waste too much no, time. No. And uh, I want to start off by saying that we are incredibly um, honored. We're incredibly thankful that you have given us uh, a short time from my schedule. Welcome. Um, Let's start with, uh, it's been a few weeks now, or a few days, since uh, that uh, final in Morocco. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize what was on the verge of happening at you won uh, that final. You could have done something that was probably maybe never going to be repeated, or it was going to take a long time to, to yeah. be repeated. Yeah. Now, um, have you recovered from it? Have you, have you, have you recovered? Mm, look, it always comes back into your mind that uh, by the way, we just lost the cup final. It's always there. Uh, because because of the the will, the passion to win it, uh, wanted to win it. You all, it will always come like that. But um, you need to accept that it's football, you know. You need to put yourself in a position of uh, uh, Jürgen Klopp and know that uh, mm-hmm. even it happens to the greatest, they will lose the cup final. and. And you need to put yourself in a, a, a position of of uh, Pep Guardiola that uh, they lost to 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 Thomas Tuchel, mm. and you need to also come to a position of Thomas Tuchel that he has lost it also, mm. you know. And the same as uh, Hansi Flick, he won in it, lost it. So you need to accept reality yeah. that there's only one team that's going to win the Cup of Nations, mm-hmm. I mean the Champions League. In Europe and in Africa, it's only one team. So, and if you can check, it always changes. I mean, Esperanza hasn't won it for long, they are unhappy. Willard hasn't been there for long, they are, they've been unhappy. Zamalak hasn't been there for long, they've been unhappy. Mm-hmm. So there are many teams who haven't been there and they are, they are unhappy. Satif has won it three times in their history yeah. and it's, they're unhappy, it's, it's, it's the way it is. Somebody will win and um, of course you want it to be a but... Um, it was not to be. Yeah, we, we didn't take our chances, I must tell you the truth, we didn't take our chances, mm. we had scored, we had scored. All they did in the game is to score, we had scored. We played, we forgot to score. Yeah. Now, coach, obviously, um, there was a a lot of staff going into 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 that final, um, which uh, you know made you yeah. as a, I mean made you and, and the club unhappy. Um, I guess that made it even more emotional. Uh, of the result. No, it, it made Africa emotional. It made Africa emotional. It was not only us. The whole Africa will say, "What is this? How can the CAF leadership put?" A cup final in 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 the in in Widad Stadium, mm-hmm. and there's nothing wrong to put it in Widad Stadium, but when do you put it? Yeah. After they win three one in uh, in the first leg. In the first leg, mm-hmm. then it goes to Widad. Okay, give it to us also in Cairo. I mean, uh, we, we would also welcome it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Why not? So they decided to put it in Morocco, for the reason known by the leadership of of Kerf. And they can say people withdrew. I mean, there's so many withdrawals in Kiev. If you have a look, the elections of the presidency was in withdrawals. Mm. There's withdrawals also for the hosting. I mean, there's so many withdrawals. Yeah. What are we? We're just wondering what next time which withdrawals are going to happen now. You know, 
There's nothing wrong to play in Widat. There's nothing wrong Morocco to host. Say, say it at the beginning. Mm. You know, and also, what's your reason to put it back there? Two times in a row? What's your reason? Mm. Must spread it around. No, but I mean, everybody has played, even in South Africa. Where was the net bank played? Between mm. Sundowns and... Uh, it was on last day. Eh? It was on last day. Okay. There you are. Mm. Why? Why not at the Loftus? Mm. Mm. So when you look at this thing, I mean, you know, we, we are entitled to be suspicious. Uh, uh, do you sus do you suspect that there must be or there may be ulterior motives here? Maybe something against you personally? Against me? My opinion? Yes. Why? Because I'm the coach of Al-Akhli. Mm. What makes me feel like that is, it's not all about that. It's all the things that are happening every time in, a, in the Champions League when I'm playing. Mm. I mean, you know what's happening. I'm never at peace. You know. You know the, the lawyers of uh, Bowman and Griffith that uh, the lawyers of the family of Mutsepe will send me letters of mm. all that every time and, and do it every time before the big they match. They love letters. Yeah, every yeah. time before the big match. It's true. I'm not lying. You can ask him, he'll tell you. Mm. Uh, why not? Why that time? Why all the time on those games? Send it today. Not and anyway, what's the video. issue, by the way? What's the issue? Mm. Yes. I guess that's what we want to know. What's the issue between you and No, Thomas? I mean, that's a case, a uh, court case. Let's go to court. I mean, it's okay. Mm. Let's go to... It's, it's, do I really want to go to court? I don't want. Mm. But if I have to... to protect my name and myself and justify, I will, I will go to court. Mm. Yeah, I will go to court if I have to go to court. And but it's not nice. I don't want. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this yeah. is bad for football. Yeah. You know, I've had so much. Uh, as I told you, I was telling you guys that, you know, how, you know, my relationship with Sundowns is, <laughs> from 1984, 85. Yeah. When when uh, Doctor Iswing and uh, um, uh, um, the doctors and the lawyers and um, uh, that they, um, how can I forget? Um, who is our chief judge, man? Mr. Chief Judge, am I right? Uh, Musanike. Well, Musanike. I mean, incredible people. When they used to own Sundowns, we were coached by Braben. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people don't know. We were coached by Braben. I was at Sundowns. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when we, we were coached by Skrima Chabalala, I was there. When uh, doc, when uh, Zola Mahobe took it, I was there. Mm. I was playing. I know the logo. I know the branch. I know the colors. And when it moved from uh, Zola Mahobe to Standard Bank, I was there. When it moved from Standard Bank to go into the Crocs family, Crocs brothers, mm. I was there. You went to Rue from there. When it moved from the Crocs family to to Natasha Chigler's family, I was there. When we moved from Natasha Chigler's family and Angela Chigler's, it went into Petri's family, I was there. So I have a relationship with Sundowns. Sundowns is my team. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a problem with Sundowns. I love Sundowns. I have pictures against Sundowns. It's my archives. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, yes, our, our relationship now is not good. Mm. Yes, it's not good because I don't want. Uh, uh, it hasn't been good when I was ever, even there. Yeah, it was tough for me there. You don't know. You guys don't know. You thought I had a nice, good life in the eight years. Behind the scenes, it was a different story. It was tough. I had I worked with different tough people, and yes, I used to have it tough there. But why? Why? I mean. Why do sometimes black people we do this to each other? Why why do we step in the back? It happens. It happens. It's, uh, but you don't. People don't do things alone. People, when 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 you go to a head coach, 
and you do you do things against the head coach. You you have power to do that. You can't come to me and do things to me or against me when you are a junior staff member. Mm. You've got no power to say that. Must have been sent, yeah. So junior staff members used to come and tell me. Yeah. Junior staff members used to tell me, you, 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 we will fire you. Mm. We will fire you. Yes, mm. we'll, we will fire you. A junior staff member that I don't even know what is his job. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So how can a junior staff member say that to a head coach? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yes, it's got power. But besides all that, you still managed to succeed. I guess yeah, I f because you I made it difficult for I them to I get rid of you. I focus on football. Mm. I focus on football. And your record speaks for itself. Even. Yes, I, work, I focus on football and... Uh, of course, sometimes I don't talk about it uh, because I know you can't do this when you don't have power. So the mm. guy has power and mm. somebody has given him power to do or say, and we can deny it, you know, we can always say, ah, I didn't know about that, oh, we didn't say that, we didn't send him to do that. He used to have trouble all the time. Man. Mm, hence, when you came back uh, with Alakhli, there was some ugly stuff uh, outside the stadium, you know, which, which was really sad. Why? You know? Why? Do you think uh, people can do things without, without authority? I've been at Sundowns for eight years. Nobody mm -hmm. does things alone there. You know, you've worked for Sundowns. Mm -hmm. You've worked for Sundowns. Can anybody take a, a, a big decision alone there? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You were there. Mm -hmm. So, it's okay. Yeah. We have moved on. Uh, we have left five league titles. We've lost, I don't know how many league trophies. Mm -hmm. There are cups, I don't know. Champions League, World Cup. The treble is not a new thing. Yeah. We've done, it's the, been done, we have done the treble with the Telcom, Champions League and the league. Yeah. So this, the, the, the treble that I left, the last one, is nothing. Mm. Yes, and the coach have done very well. They brought another treble. Yeah, yeah. yeah but what's new? Mm. Yes. I was going to ask... The also, team has been successful. I was going to ask also, I think we, we, we mustn't labor too much on Sanos, but just lastly to say, what have you made of the trio? Um, who, who are they now? If, no, have they taken it to another level? They've done well. I've, I've, I've listened to Manova's interview, mm. um, Rulani's interview. Uh, they didn't disrespect me. Mm. And they said that they got a foundation, a good foundation. And uh, of course, I can see they still play the same way as I mm. they did. Of course, but they've changed a little bit with new players. And I think, to be honest, I think they play more nicer. Yeah. Than the way I used to play. You know? But, uh, you know, they deserve it, why not? Yeah. You must yeah. remember, I took Rolanda from the under 19, not even in MDC. And I, I said he would make it. And when he went to Paris, I was not very happy, but I gave him his blessings. When he went to Chipa, I spoke to him again before he goes to Chipa. He's a good friend. He's, he's a colleague to mm, me. Mm. You know, sometimes I feel like uh, I, I feel like he's my younger brother. And uh, I gave him my blessings also. It's not up to me. It's up to him. Yeah. But he discusses. We talk. We coaches. Mm. Yes. And when things didn't work out at Chipa, we regroup again. And oh, what's now? Yeah, I said, don't stress. Come here. Come Profes. to Sundowns. He knows where the trophies are. Yes, and it was not easy for me to bring Rulani to Sundowns. Eh? Mm. Yes, it's not easy. But uh, I, I pleaded, I begged for him to come back, and uh, there was so much resistance. <laughs> but uh, I knew what he has, I knew what he can contribute yeah. to the team. Yeah. And this is what is happening. Rulani is unbelievable, he's top. So I'm happy that uh, we brought him. Also, Manoba, he had his own challenges at Eros, and then he won the trophy at Eros, of course, he won the top eight, and uh, 
when relationships were no longer there, he went to Amazulu. He didn't do well. He went to Chipa. It was a bit difficult also. And then he asked me to come back, to come to me and work mm. with me. It was not easy, but uh, after a month he's been talking and I brought him in, you know. Then I said I decided that he must come and, yeah. and come and work with me. And uh, and he was a coach, he has won the champion, the top eight. He's not that bad. Yeah. You know, he came and he worked with me. And uh, and uh, and those are the guys that uh, I've worked with for, for some time. Yeah. And why not? Uh, they've been good. And they've contributed also. They've supported mm. me, you know. They've, they've done their part as assistant coaches, of course. Yeah. We should give them credit. Yeah. So, Coach, lastly, on this issue, were you um, surprised with uh, Steve Kambela going to Santos? And he has been quiet, um, you know, he has just decided to go about his business quietly there. No, but I don't know. I mean, look, in South Africa, we there's a new way now, three coaches, co-coaches. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's happening almost everywhere now. <laughs> yeah. Probably they saw it happen, working at Sundowns, and then everybody uh, is doing it. Mm. Yes, and um, yeah, if they work together, why not? That's good. Mm. But who's? But at least uh, Manova has a final say. Yeah, according to what good people statement. say, yeah, yeah. he has a final say, so he can overrule everybody. Mm. Yeah, but. Um, but you see, Roland is training the team. You see, Roland is the one on the third line. Mm. You know. So what if what happens when the substitute then? Because I know I used to sit with Manova and uh, and then I used to discuss with him about substitutes. He says this. I said no, 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 no. I don't think this. Okay. And sometimes he says this. I says yeah. I think you're right. Mm. You understand. So it's a constant. Sometimes he's wrong, sometimes he's right. But I, I have to take the decision. And sometimes I don't ask him. I'm the head coach. I have a right not to ask him. Mm, mm, yes. Mm. But I engage you if I really need your opinion. Coach, let's go so, to each So it's, it's, it's the way it is. And, yeah. and um, Coach Steve, I've worked with him in Bafana. I brought him as my assistant. He's a good guy, very principled guy. Um, yeah. But at least with the three of them, they've done well, they've won trophies. Yeah. You know? But you know how football is, Matlazi. You have to win it as a head coach. Alone. Yeah? As the head coach and assistant coaches. Yeah. Yes, you have to be the head coach and win. There is the way that it is like that in the world. Because there, there's always going to be question marks. That if I say no, it's you won it. He says, "Oh, no, it's not you. It's me also." Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah. Yes. So these things do happen, but it's okay. If it works and it's going, let's not let's not be jealous or, or negative. Critical, let's yeah. be positive about things are happening, and it has yielded a a a, a trouble. Mm -hmm. You know. Which is good, yeah. Yeah, but but you can't tell me it's. It's as smooth as, as, as it looks from outside. Yes, I mean, you guys have reported that uh, Roland was not happy with what Manova said, and and they admitted, and they resolved it. So it always shows that uh, it's not as smooth as everybody can say. Mm. Yes, but it's never smooth. It's, it's football. Football, we don't have to agree every time. Yeah. We, yes, we, we agree to disagree, and... At the end of the day, is the club winning? If the club is winning, everything is working. Once the club doesn't win, then there's problems. Yeah. Then there's there's something that's not coming out right. It's only working when we win. Coach, let's go to Egypt now. Um, you've been there for a while now. Um, lots of success. I think six trophies now. But uh, you know, it's, it's it's a big club. A lot of support, huge a lot of pressure. Huge club. How do you sleep at night under this kind of pressure? No, you don't sleep. When you're coaching Malachi, you don't sleep at night. 
and you know, coach in Alakli, I thought I had pressure here at Sundowns. Yeah. No, there was never pressure at Sundowns comparatively to Alakli. There's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of stress, yeah. there's a lot of expectations. You're only good at your last game, even if when you win, sometimes they say you don't play well, but yeah. you win. If you lose, it's worse. Everybody has an opinion, the club is big, social media has a big influence on the club, big, big, big influence on the club. If the social media takes this direction, it goes like that. Mm. Yeah, you're lucky, you're happy when the board is supporting you and uh, telling you keep calm, keep going, don't listen too much, we want you here. That's what keeps you going and that's what keeps me going. But I have good support from the supporters yeah. also. You've seen them singing for me. Yeah. You've seen them, I cannot be saying. There are a few guys, only a few guys who say this and that and all that. And, and you know, some of, some of the legends, they say what they yeah. want to say against me. It's normal, they're the legends and someone wants to coach the team, remember? Someone wants to be part of this team. Mm -hmm. Yes, someone's opportunity that we have, they're right. And um, they will criticize, they criticize everybody. They, they don't only criticize me, they criticize even Egyptian players. Yeah. Let's be fair. This criticism, it's a big club, it's expectations are high, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's more tougher than at Liverpool and at Manchester City. Mm. I mean, Jurgen Klopp wants the, 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 the Champions League once oh, yeah. in five years. Pep, they want the Pep, <laughs> Pep hasn't won it. In, and Jurgen Klopp won the league once in four years yeah. or five years. But he's a legend, uh, renewal of contracts, they love him, you see how they sing for him, he sings. He's, and, and same as Pep, Pep is loved. It's, it's another space, it's another environment to, to, to Egypt. In Egypt they say, Allah only wins. Don't tell us about any other score. Yeah. Only wins, you know. But also, yeah, which team wins all the games? Yeah, yeah, it's not possible. Even them themselves and even their history, well, let's go. 19 since 1907, have they won all the games? Mm -hmm. No. And you've stayed for a long day. I mean, you were in the States saying not what, what, more than 100 years with the second longest, longest serving coach there. How do you do it? <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing it. Uh, thanks God, I'm still, <laughs> yeah. I'm still part of it. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a difficult environment, but let's see. And uh, uh, it is tiring. It is. It takes a lot of my energy, mm. and um, you know, you know, coaching has a lot of stresses and sicknesses, mm. and I've I've suffered from those things. I must tell you the truth. I've suffered from fatigue. I've suffered from stress. I've even suffered from high blood pressure. It's true. Mm. It's the nature of the business. It's the nature of of the club. It's. It's, it's stress, you don't sleep well. You, it's never easy, it is tough. If you, and it's not all about this, the, 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 the social media, the pressure of the support, it's not all about that. It's also your players. Mm -hmm. Yes, your players also put you under pressure, under stress, you want them to do these things. Some don't do it, some do it, some take time to do, some don't understand, some don't want to understand. So, it's like that in every club, man. It's not all about Allah. It's yeah. like that. You find all those things. Some players fit in, some don't. Mm. Yes, some players have got favorites from the stands, from the social media. Mm. Why you don't play this man? And sometimes you play him and he doesn't do nothing, doesn't score. But they still love him. Mm. And you play in another one. Some people don't like him. And they say, hey, why you play him? Yes, it's, it's, it's like that. You, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a tough environment, sorry. It's a tough environment and, uh, and that's it. But for you to survive there, it's, uh, sure, you need to win a lot of, lot of games. Eh? Mm. Mm. I mean, we've got about maybe 100 or 102 now. And we, and we have won maybe 80. <laughs> but we are still in where we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah there's pressure. Another thing, Coach, um, Pesita has come under 
you know, there's a, a fair section of the fans and the ex players and all these things who are criticizing the guy. And you know, you have defended him. Uh, and you know, has he given you what you expect him, or you still think, think he can still go up a bit? Look, the challenge with Percy is that he doesn't take many opportunities that he gets. Okay? And sometimes people forget that he creates his own opportunities. Okay? And, but he's got more assists mm. and he scores. He doesn't score as, as much as we want. And uh, that's the challenge. But he's a very good football player. Yeah. You know? But, but who's scoring more? I mean, not many of my strikers are scoring more. I have one or some or some. Everybody says, ah, you must play. Okay, fine. He plays, he doesn't score also. Mm. Yeah. I don't know, but give him more time, give him more. Yeah, okay. How many more times? You know, Sheriff used to score a lot of goals last year. He's not scoring many this year. So times have changed. And I wish he could score like he used to score. You play him sometimes, he doesn't score. Mm. Sometimes he does score. So you cannot be putting it on Percy. It's all, all the attack is not scoring as much as they're supposed to, to be honest. Mm. And um, before we move from al now, uh, one point is that looking at the amount of success that you've had now, you've just mentioned Pep and, and, and Klopp. You know, one, the other one won, the other one nothing. But when it comes to... Um, when it comes to um, FIFA awards and all those kind of things, your name does not even appear anywhere near those things. Do you do you feel hard done by, or you just don't worry about those things? No, but FIFA awards um, are for European coaches. We all know. <laughs> it's FIFA because it's FIFA. Yeah, it's, it's. Look, I understand that the um, English league is much stronger or better than Egyptian league is. You accept that uh, that. Um, uh, the teams are bigger, stronger, mm. the quality of the players, yes. If that's the case, then they're right. Then then you must make European awards. Yeah. Don't, don't put all of us there. <laughs> because when you put all of us, when you're going to say no, but that other league is stronger than this one, which is true, the other league is stronger, then leave the, those leagues to, to the other leagues and leave us to the awards of our league, yeah. you know? But we don't have CAF awards anymore. The last time we had was 20, 2016. Mm. I won the award, by the way, 2016, 2017. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won coach of the year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but now it's no longer there. Mm. There's no awards. Yeah, which is a shame. Um, as we move along now, coach, um, you still follow Southern football? And a bit, a bit, I read. A, I don't watch games. Yeah. Sorry, I don't watch games. I, I read. There are a lot of developments happening in the country. Um, you know, Kaiser Chiefs have just appointed uh, you know young South African coach. That is one he is. I saw that. Um, he is exactly well, almost exactly where you were. What you know, what, 15, 20 years ago. Yeah, but I was not at Kaiser Chiefs. So yeah, yeah, at yeah, Super Sport United. Yeah, but the situation. And and uh, I was at the team that's the bottom of the lock. Yeah. He's at Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. That's a big one. How do you feel, and if you were to advise the guy, what would you say? Well, he has to work hard. He has to trust his instinct. He has to give a direction. He has to give a philosophy of how he needs to play. And the philosophy is not based on what he wants. The philosophy is based on players he has. So I always like to say that everybody likes to play like Manchester City, mm. the shape of Manchester City. But do you have De Bruyne? Mm. Do you have Bernardo Silva? You have Mares on one who are on the sides play, taking players one on one. Mm. If you don't have players to take one on one as wingers, don't adopt Manchester City style because their strength is that. If you want to follow Liverpool shape of 4-3-3, they play different from 
from from Manchester City. Mm. Said your money comes inside. Uh, Mohamed Salah also come inside. They rely on their full backs to cross mm. Robertson mm. and them. So is that? So you can say you want to play the Liverpool way. Mm. You must have your way. Your way is what you have. What you what, uh, the, what you exposed to. What are your players? Who are your players? And they play. They must play to the shape and the formation of the system, mm. not. Um, uh, what I want. Mm -hmm. no. So so he must know what he wants. He must know what is he has and he must play to the to his strength. Mm -hmm. We we used to criticize Coach Mendop. I also used to criticize him. But he gave us trouble. He nearly won the league mm -hmm. until that. But he was playing to the strength of his team. He had the big boys, he had Matoho, he had Cadoso, he had Kezana, he had even Rama, he had Castro, he had uh, Nurko. He had um, uh, he had those big boys. Yeah. So when his corner kicks, is is six boys, mm -hmm. six big boys, free kick and corner kicks, they will score. Because they used to have aerial strength. Because they he played to his strength. We might criticize him to say, oh, but this is not good football. What is good football? Good football, I don't know. And and even Kaiser Chiefs accepted it. And you know the history of Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs don't play like that. But they accepted it because it was winning, mm. you know. Kevin Hunt plays his own way. Okay, we all play differently. Yeah. So Atazwani must say what he wants to do or how he wants to play. But you must have the players to play the way you want. Yeah. He can make it. Why not? I support him. Mm. He's a local coach. Uh, on the other side, the Pirates, um, they came very close to winning Ooh. the Concord Cup. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen now. Yeah, the two guys, Mandla and, and Fatu, are under a lot of pressure. They may be fired and they may continue. And some people have said that if they were to leave, Benny should come in. And you know, um, how do you assess or assess this pilot situation? I think Benny is a good coach. He has proved that he's a good coach. Of course, he needs more time to prove that he is really good. Because winning one trophy doesn't mean. Many many coaches have won one trophy and they've even went to relegation. They don't they don't even exist. They go, they left with the trophy, yeah. you know. So it's, it's it's to do it all the time. They repeatedly, that shows excellency. Good coach Benny, uh, good passion for the match. A um, lot of energy. He wants to win. Wants to you know. He's a winner. He's mm. a fighter. Yes, probably he will do it at Pirates. Um, if he's the coach at Pirates, he probably will do it. Mm -hmm. But we need to also to... He has to look at himself also to say, where can I improve myself as mm -hmm. Benny? Mm -hmm. Technically, tactically, I mean tactically, and also emotionally, and how we deal with issues, how you deal with your players, how you deal with your... With the media also, mm. how you deal with the referees also. Mm. Mm. Uh, I, I, I'm the wrong guy to talk about this because I also have my weaknesses. Yeah. You know, so I think the right guy to advise him on uh, on on uh, the calmness, uh, all those things. Steve Compella is is a master. <laughs> he knows how to keep himself yeah. cool and calm and. Uh, and, and and everything, you know. Mm. I wish I can be like him on that. Mm. Yeah. But Ben is a fighter, we, and me and Ben, we like to win. Yeah. We love winning, yeah. and we are bad losers. Mm. Coach, um, I, I I know time is not on our side, and let's let's wrap up now. Yeah, yeah, the last one, yes. So let me let, let me also release you. Yeah. Um, without obviously, you can't give too much details now into your, the project of the schools. Uh, yeah. Coaching the coaches that you're going to be yes. uh, 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 unveiling very soon. Yes. Um, I made a point earlier on that, uh, you know, I guess it talks to recently there is a PSL player who at the age of 27 was making his debut. And I think this program that you're going to do can talk to that to say. Mm. The coaches that you will be, uh, they, they will come through your program, will help us to unearth extremely talented young players who can, at the age of 18, 19, go and compete for, for starting place in the PSL because 
we just don't have the players, but just the significance and the thinking behind what you're trying to do. Yeah, we, we, I don't want to give much on that because uh, uh, MD Sports is going to come and, and, yeah. and make their launch, and uh, I don't want to make the launch weak and mild, mm. but we will develop coaches, we will develop players, mm. we will put the coaches at the schools. Mm. And the football is at the schools, and children play football in the schools. So that's what we are into, that's, what, that's our contribution to, to, to the game, because we have to be honest, Maklatsi, we need to have football players playing in Europe mm. to help our country. Mm. Yeah, what we have locally, it might not help us. You know, we need experience. National team, we don't experiment. National team, we put players who have done it so many times at the club to play for the national team because you don't even have enough time to train. Mm. So you can't take uh, people who don't have experience in the national team. But that doesn't mean you don't take the younger ones. Mm. The younger ones must play. That's where they get experience in the club where they play week in, week out, then he has experience, even if he's young. Mm. But, um, but also, it must have also integrity. We must choose the right players. We have to be proud of the national team, even if it might not win. But we need to say, yeah, this is the national team. Players selected are right. And uh, they play well. They understand the badge. They understand the national flag. And, and that's the best we have in the country, because you're choosing the best in the country. Don't choose what is not best. Then what do you call it? It then becomes a club football. Yeah. 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 And then you will help uh, Hugo Bruce also. <laughs> Hugo Bruce, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I don't want to talk about him. Yeah, yeah. So, Coach, um, you can talk football for the whole day and for the whole night. I know you, you love your football. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to firstly thank uh, Osmoira, thank uh, Oskeleto. Uh, the public can see them because they're behind the scenes. Yes, thank the camera. Th thanks, MT Sports, Sports to, to, to help you. Yeah, they, they really uh, squeezed us in, like yeah. squeezing us in. Uh, yeah. your, your schedule is quite quite pressed, and we, we, we really, really thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you have always said that you, you support the small guys, and uh, you know, yes. our, our program is just starting up. And yes, I like, the, I like the status. Yeah, 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 with people like, uh, yes. with people like you. Yes, I you. was a starter also. <laughs> yes. You know, so coach, thank you very much. Welcome. And uh, hopefully you can win another Champions League next season. Who knows? Inshallah. Inshallah. Mm. Thank you. <laughs>